Hi everybody, we're going to be um, creating speed and motion in this tutorial. Uh, I do. I did um, upload a few uh, images uh, for you to download. Uh, I picked this one here <clears throat> to do. Now the cool thing about this um, is we're going to use a layer mask. And because a layer mask, when you deal with a layer mask, you're dealing with the transparency of a top layer uh, and how it interacts with the layer underneath. If the layer underneath is the same image, you're going to see the same image. If the layer underneath is blurry, then that is the image that you're going to see. It's going to reveal a little bit of the blur, and so that's how you're going to get that effect. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, duplicate the layer. Okay, so it's going to hit Command-J or Control-J, excuse me. Hit Control-J, and we're going to duplicate that layer. Um, <clears throat> like to have those two layers. We're going to create a quick selection because we're going to get rid of all that's around here. Now, we could do it with a layer mask, uh, but in this case, for this assignment, um, we're going to do it with a quick selection tool. So I'm going to go ahead and use the quick selection tool. And I'm going to go ahead and select this jet plane the best that I can. Um, again, use the selection tool that you think is best, that you're most acclimated with. Um, I think the quick selection tool is really good. You could do the um, magnetic lasso too. And we're going to duplicate just... The, so you can see here we have just a plane outlined, okay? From here, we're going to be blurring this layer. We're going to blur it with something called the motion blur. And under filter on the menu bar, we have plenty of camera filters. And you can see a couple of blurs. And we're just going to go select on blur and select motion blur. Uh, now, I'm going to zoom out, out a little bit so I can see what's going on. But you also want to move the angle. You want to follow the angle of the ship. So you're going to follow it the best you can. You don't want it to go up and down. You want it to go with the motion of that airplane. So I'm going to go ahead and put it at 8. Um, and then I'm going to start to create that blur. And you can see the blur of motion is taking the direction of that plane. And I'm going to go ahead and do it 999, I think they said. Well, let's do... I'll do 800. That's fine. This should be oh, 900, 740. That's fine. And I'm going to hit OK. Now you can see the motion blur is there, but the whole airplane is blurry. And we want it to have the front of the plane to be uh, unblurred and just have the back of it look like it's being. So what we're going to do is we're also going to intensify. We're going to intensify this here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, duplicate the layer about three or four times. And you'll see as soon as I do that, it does start to intensify that layer. So you don't want to. And then you're going to merge them together. So we're going to hold Control or Command. In my case, it's Control. I'm going to right-click, Merge Layers, and then Merge Layers. Oh, excuse me. Control, Control, right-click, and then Merge Layers. You can see how that blur has become way more intense. Um, so what we're going to do now is we need to, if I hide this layer, you can see the plane is normal. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a layer mask to this layer, this blurred layer. And we are going to hide this blur and reveal what's underneath. We're going to use the gradient tool. Make sure that is in the options bar that it goes from dark to light. And we're just going to click on that plane and pull it in the direction. And you can see there. I can add a little more. You can see that plane begin to show through. There we go. So you can might have to do it a couple times, but then you can see there, if I go ahead and hide that top layer, that's the blur that exists underneath, okay? So just with that gradient tool, and like I said, if you need to do it some more, you can do it more um, intense. I want to have just a softer... You can also do it like that, have it a little more realistic, but that's going to be a longer gradient between the two anchor points. Okay, so that is how you show motion, motion or speed using a layer mask and using um, using a layer mask and the gradient tool. Okay, so make sure to turn it in.